Hi everyone, Albert here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this tutorial is going to be on HTML. And HTML simply means hypertext markup language. Um, on the web, basically, it's used for defining the structure of a web page or website. For example, as you can see here, this structure has been defined using HTML. You can see my name, my picture, this text, a list of my skills here and social media links so this has been achieved by the help of this uh, hypertext markup language html in short so the next step i want you to do if you don't have uh, this editor yet installed in your computer just go to your browser and type vs code to download it if you are using Windows, just download right here. If you are using Mac, I'll click on this arrow there to download the Universal Installer. Uh, once you are done installing it, just once you are done downloading, just install. Click on the installer, and then once it's installed, come to the search bar and search for it. Just type VS Code and open it in your machine. And the next step. I want you to go to your computer and create uh, simply create a folder where you want to write your code I already have my folder here uh, tutorials so the next step just go to the VS code which you have opened and then open the folder right there okay so open the the way to open the folder is go to file and then Look for open folder and then go to the folder you have created and select folder. Okay, open it right here. Just do this. Mine is already open here. So just go right there and open the next step. You can see these icons right there. It says the first one says new file. So click it. We are going to create a new html file called index and all html file ends with a dot html extension press enter right there to open it now the next thing we want to do is to uh, create the boilerplate code that is the basic structure of every html file okay and there's a shortcut for us to get it instead of us typing it from scratch I just going to uh, type the exclamation mark and then press the tab okay this will bring it for you another way to get it is to use doc and then press tab you get the same result and by the way come to your extension tab right there and install some extensions the first one is Emmet Emmet is one of the extension actually that you need to get this uh, boilerplate code. So the first thing you need to do, come here and install the Emmet extension. I already have it installed. The next extension I would like to install is auto, auto close tag. To close tag, it will be useful in, especially it speeds up uh, the process of writing a uh, HTML element and for now the last I'd like you to install is live server live server will be useful for watching over our file for changes so that whatever change we make our file will be reflected immediately on our web page without any need to refresh the browser so go right there and install it after you're done just come back to your file let's get started writing our code so of course you can see i already have my picture here in this folder i created because we are going to need it in fact that's what we need now go right there and use the img tag the img tag is used for adding an image okay this for adding an image in the web page so it has two attributes the source attribute and then the old attribute now what is an attribute an attribute is anything that is inside an html tag 
So the IMG is an HTML tag, and anything that goes inside there is called an attribute because it describes the tag. Okay. So the source attribute, of course, it takes the name or the path to the image which you added in that folder. Mine, I named it PP, and of course, the extension is it's a PNG file. And the alt is just a description of the picture. Okay, now this is useful for screen readers. Okay, that is for people with uh, who are not able to see, but they read the, the web page using screen readers. Okay, so from this point, I want to go right, right, right ahead and right click and look for open with live server just click it to open this page on the browser as you can see it's already here the picture is opened on the or it's displayed on the browser so as you have seen earlier on our finished page that we are going to develop it's here after the picture the next thing we want is the name okay and for that we'll go back to our file that we are going to use another html tag called the h1 the h1 tag now you see um, if you noticed once once I, I i wrote the opening tag this one this one was automatically written for me this is because of that extension i asked you to install earlier the auto close tag it simply speeds up the process of writing HTML okay so here we are going to go right there and enter your name I'm going to just enter my name here okay and if you go now to your browser you basically be able to see your name right there you see so this is because we had opened this page with live server if we didn't open this page with live server, we need to have first refresh this page for us to see any change we may have made in our HTML file. But because of live server, any change we make will be automatically reflected on our web page, which really speeds up our process of development. Okay. So the next let me show again the finished page the next step we have is this uh, description so i'll just copy this text from there and then go to the code again we'll just use a paragraph tag this tag is called paragraph tag okay so this is mostly used for showing text on the screen uh, a paragraph of text or some description so I'll just paste the text right there but now if you know if you check you see that all this is shown in a single line however in in here in our ready page it's showing that each of these sentences should be on a separate line so how can we achieve that well, it's very simple with HTML. All we need to do is to add a BR tag wherever we want the line to break. BR tag. Okay? So like this. Now if we go to check, you can see that, yes, they are now on two separate lines. Okay? So... You would already have noticed that some of these elements have a closing and an opening tag. For instance, the H1 has an opening and a closing tag. The image has just one, okay? It doesn't have a closing and an opening. So you have to take note of this. The same with the BR. It has only one. So note these differences. It's very important, okay? so let's check again our finished page so the next thing we have is the list of skills right there 
So let's just go and create it. Now in HTML to achieve this result, we need what is called a UL. A UL is simply an acronym for or abbreviation for unordered list. Okay. So and inside a UL we would have a list of LIs, list elements basically. And each of these skills would each of these skills we have there will be inside an li tag. So just type alongside and we have another li tag C plus plus and C and another li tag. And guys, you see that by just by me just typing li and then tab it brings for me uh this the whole opening and closing tag for the L, for the li it works for any element actually so just go right there and try it if it doesn't work for you then just do as we have been doing so next is git and github so you just go right there and add your own skills these are my skills so it's your portfolio web page so just customize it for your own if you want or you can also type alongside with me next is python and next is mongo tv and guys there's another shortcut i'm using to duplicate this line okay i'm just holding alt alt shift okay and then the arrow down alt shift press alt shift and then the arrow down it duplicates the line wherever the cursor is so this is just to make uh writing code faster for myself you can also start using this shortcut okay so alt shift and then the arrow down okay and then lastly node and sql so if we go on the page so far you can see that we have achieved uh, this result let's check again on the finished page the next thing we have is uh, this get in touch Okay, and then it has this emoji and links to our social media, to my social media. And these links are actually working. You can see this links to my Facebook and this links to my Instagram, this to my LinkedIn. Okay, so let's go right there and add it below the UL tag. So for this, we can enclose it inside a footer. Inside a footer element and inside there uh, inside the footer element we can add the links basically we have first we have this get in touch get in touch text and then we have the emoji pointing now this emoji to get it normally use the win key and then the full stop it will bring the list of emojis so just look for this emoji right there okay and the next thing we need uh the anchor tag the angle tag is simply used for linking for linking for adding links to your websites so the a is used for the anchor tag okay and this has an attribute called href and this is where we would add uh the link to our social media that's where you add the link to social media. And here we will be needing icons. You know, like for instance, you see here, this is a Facebook icon, Instagram icon, LinkedIn icon. In order to get them, just go to your browser and type font awesome. And then just click on this dots. And you need to enter your email here so that they can uh, give you a link that you can add into your HTML file. 
So I had already done this. So just go right there and enter your email and then press this uh, button which says send kit embedded code. So once you do that and you need to go inside your login to this email you entered here and then sort of confirm confirm it and then after confirming it you will be able to get a link okay uh, i can actually do it again maybe with another email right there so let me just do it yes so that you can follow so add any email here so guys after confirming your email for the font, font awesome uh, that is the email they sent into the email you entered they will ask you to enter a password so you just go right there and enter a password okay and enter the same password here to set up your account so press this button once you're done and yeah so they'll ask you some questions you answer them so i'll just answer mine 2020 and let's say instagram and press after here you'll be given a link so this is the link guys that you should copy copy this link and add it to your head uh, element of your html file so this is the link you should copy and then come to your index.html file and add it right here so by that you'll be able to use every icon so let's go back to our code and add this first we are going to add of course uh, the icon for facebook so to in order for for you to add the icons of course after getting the scripts that you would add into your head just go to the same website font awesome icons and type whatever icon you want okay type facebook for instance we want facebook and you get it right here just click on it and this is what you need okay you just click on it again to copy it once you copy it come and paste it inside the between the uh, anchor tag and inside the href is where you want to put your social media profile link so just go to your for instance Go to your Facebook, for instance, this is my Facebook, and get the link to your profile. Just click on your profile picture if you have one, copy the link, and then paste it here inside the href. Okay, and if we check right now, yes, here is your Facebook, okay. Now we want to add an attribute to this uh, anchor element called the target. I'll show you guys what it does. And this takes the value of underscore blank. Now we should add it. It's important to add this because when we click on this, it will cause uh, this link to open in a new tab. So that's why that attribute the target attribute is important right there so next we want to move we want to get the icon for instagram because we also want to link our instagram 
okay if you have an instagram or just look for any social media account that you have and then link it so i need to copy this again right there and add it here or i need another anchor tag okay another anchor tag inside there i'll add the icon i copied okay and inside the anchor tag i need the href of course to link to my instagram so I'll just come to the browser again get my instagram link and put it right there so this is the link to my instagram so i've copied it or paste it inside the href attribute and if i check again close my instagram check here is my instagram and of course i need to add again uh, the target attributes in order to allow my instagram to open in a new uh, in a new tab so it takes the value of underscore blank so the last icon or social media I want to link to is my LinkedIn so I'll get the icon for LinkedIn just type here LinkedIn okay type the LinkedIn then go right there go right there add another anchor tag so inside in between the anchor tag copy or paste the icon for linkedin and inside the anchor tag add the href of course and here i already have the link my linkedin so i'll just copy it and paste it right there and that will save time but yeah you can go right there if you have twitter just go right there and link it or any other social media account you have tiktok any other account just go right there and link it so let's see our web page how it's looking yes now it's looking exactly like uh, what we wanted so we can click now you see guys what happened if you notice uh, this link didn't open on the same tab where the page was running that is because I have not added the target attributes on it so in most websites when you go there you normally notice when you click a link it opens in a new tab so it's because of this target attribute so now if i open it you notice it's opening in a new tab as you've seen here all right guys so this is going to be uh what we're going to learn for today i just wanted to keep it simple it's our first video and next who might uh, add CSS to this web page to make it more look more fancy? So I believe you'll be able to learn uh, something new here. If you have any questions or anything you want me to to prepare tutorial on, just comment, and I'll be right there reading your comment. And I'll also share this code so you'll be able to download this code right from my github and if you have any problems just compare right with my code here or even if you have problems with this font awesome okay just go and get you may just get mine i think it will work get mine and paste it in your own file thank you guys for watching and see you in another tutorial